years ago. Um, there's the major donor stuff that's a, it's a reality in the political process. And you know, we did all of those things, um, but this stuff raised two thirds of the money, and then all the other stuff raised the last the last third. Um, and so by integrating the fundraising tightly with the message and the organizing notion, um, we were able to create a relationship with folks where the you know, giving five dollars or whatever it was, it was interchangeable with, uh, with you know with making a phone call or showing up for an offline event in a way that, in all of which enhanced the overall relationship. Uh, so I'll talk really quickly about one campaign that I that I think accomplished that well. Um, it was called uh, the Dinner with Barack campaign, and so uh, at a time in the campaign, it was uh, the summer of or late spring summer of 2007. <coughs> There were a series of stories about the other candidates having these big, expensive fundraising dinners where you have to raise ten thousand dollars and you get a plate, and you know it's uh, you know, sort of buying access to the you know that's sort of what it is. Um, and so there was some uh, some sense that we had an opportunity to turn that upside down. And so we said, okay, Obama's going to have dinner with donors, but they're donors of any amount. So five dollars or more. You know, if you give in these couple of weeks, then. You know you're eligible, and you can have dinner with Barack Obama. Um, and you know it turns out well, a lot of people wanted to have dinner with Obama. Um, but but more than more than the gimmick uh, of of getting to do it, you know, and if you talked to people, and I talked to a lot of them on the phone while we were doing it uh, to try to understand what was happening and, and why it was going so well, um, people didn't have a sense that they would actually get picked. Um, and I was surprised at how frank people were about that. They said, oh, what is it, one in a million? And you know, I'm sitting there thinking, well, actually, it's probably only like one in 30,000 or something, so you actually have a pretty good chance. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but people actually weren't really concerned with getting picked. Um, and it was because of the process that we, that we went around. The, you know, the, the notion of, of why you should participate in this campaign was specifically to send a message that you thought the way that it's usually done stinks. And so you want to prove a new model. Uh, but also it was about connecting with the other people who were doing it. So, um, you know, after you click that Donate Now button, uh, you know, you type in your information, credit card, blah, 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 make the contribution, click. The next page you get was something saying, why did you do that? And so, you know, who are you? Where are you coming from? What's your story? Um, and that was the information uh, that actually proved incredibly compelling. And so we took those, um, we saw way more people filled that out than we thought would. Um, but the content that came from there was, you know, um, I have two children with special needs, and we really need to, you know, re-examine the way we do special education in this country. Um, my husband has cancer, and we run a successful small business, but um, it's going to go under now because uh, the, of the cost of healthcare, uh, and, and our insurance company is just killing us. Um, and all of these stories, and thousands and thousands of them, um, were, were so compelling that we just took them and we just published them on the website. And we said, here, you know, like while this campaign is going on. All these people are telling us why they gave. Here it is. You know, you can see. And so, not only you're going to get to have dinner with Obama, but you're going to get to have dinner with three other people like this. Uh, and you know, over the first couple of days, people were giving, and the stories were, were personal. Um, but then, over the second couple of days, a lot of the stories started to, you know, as we're reading them, would say, "I was reading this story that so and so wrote, and I have the same situation, or it was so compelling that I had to give." And you know, people were reflecting, and it was sort of building off itself. Uh, uh, because of the power of, of the content, um, so we picked you know four people who um, had you know okay stories, but not like over the top ridiculous stories um, to have dinner with Obama. Um, we turns out, side note, we weren't allowed legally to do it randomly. Um, the Oregon uh, Board of Lotteries and Commissions was very uh, on point about that. Um, <laughs> I got I got from. <laughs> Oregon, Minnesota, a couple of other states are really, really uh, keen on you not doing random drawings for things. And I got, a, I personally got a couple of cease and desist letters because they thought that that's what we were going to do. Um, but so we picked four people and tried to compose a conversation that reflected the stories that we saw um, and tried to pick four people who probably wouldn't have ever get a chance to meet each other um, before. And, and sort of leaving Obama aside, but you know, it's composing a, a, you know, there was a student, a, a single parent uh, who was a veteran. Uh, a guy who worked in a mine in Nevada, um, and 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 uh, and someone else who, who escapes me. But uh, so we brought them to Washington, and they had dinner um, just a couple of blocks from here. Uh, and what was what was great about it was that um, it was something that even the people who didn't get to be there got to participate in. So um, we filmed the first 45 minutes of the dinner. They spent two hours, and we sort of got out of their hair. But 
we try to give people, capture a sense of the conversation that took place and the connections and the human face of both of our donors and, and, and of Obama. Uh, we also sent a camera out to the homes of these uh, four people who we picked. Somebody from my staff just went out and retold the story that they told us, except in video, um, and made a little documentary about their life and where they were coming from. Uh, and so we published uh, individual little films about each of the supporters. Then we published a 10 to 12 minute documentary style film of you know, a little bit of their stories and footage from the dinner that uh, was you know, the highs, the, the low, you know, very serious stuff, but also some funny stuff, also some weird stuff. Um, that, that was our, our most popular piece of content uh, for the campaign to that point. Um, and uh, you know, 30, 40,000 people uh, gave uh, to that campaign, but several hundred thousand uh, watched the, the video afterwards and got a sense of it.